guys, it's Landon Blake with Refine Horizons. Just a warning, you can probably hear my dog Bella snoring in the background and my neighbor kids are yelling and screaming in their backyard even though it's 8 o'clock at night because it's 100 freaking degrees in Stockton and that's what time kids go out to play in the pool around here. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, what are we talking about in this video? Uh, I, did a, I did another video where I showed you the toggle that you can use to include total station vectors in a least squares adjustment with your GPS vectors and I just wanted to just show you guys a little bit more on that. So I want to show you these two projects I've got. So this first project I've got some total, uh, we, we went out, we did some fast static work on a project to establish these primary control points here that you can see kind of around our parcel. So there's five of them. And then we went out, we did a bunch of, we didn't do a bunch, but we did some total station work. We, we tied in, did a little bit of topo, tied in some fences and, um, you know, tied in some property corners and did, did a few things. So what I want to do is I want to import these vectors total station vectors into my network project and include them in my adjustment. It's going to tighten up our adjustment a little bit. But I don't I don't want all these side shots to topo points. So this is a fence that we shot. Um, I only want these vectors that go in between the in between the uh, control points. So how do you do that? Um, it's easy if you have all of your Control station ties to control in a separate uh, data collector file, but that's not very practical. That's that's not typically how we work. You know, we're we're performing topographic survey or boundary survey task or control tasks as we run through with our our traverse. So in in almost all cases, our data is going to be mixed. Um, there are some exceptions to that. So today today we went out in the field and and uh, we had a big enough job that we just had we just had a day of work to tie uh, tie control uh, with the with the total station but that's not typical so usually I'm gonna have something like this that's got a little bit of a mix so what you can do is just save a copy of your project and uh, so let's just do that just so I can illustrate how you do this so you, you start with your total project that has your total station vectors and uh, you just save a copy of it And then what you're going to do is you're, you're going to go in and you're going to delete. Oh man, doesn't like that. So let me try uh, V2 on the end of this. <clears throat> so once it's copied, you're going to go in and you're going to delete basically all the shots that you don't need. Uh, you just grab those points and then the point and the vectors automatically delete. I, I think I might have just crashed my TBC. <laughs> TBC's tired. It's 8 o'clock at night. Sorry about that, guys. Crashed my TBC. So anyways, once you get your project saved, get a copy saved, or you just start a blank project and import your total station data, you just go in and you delete the vectors that you don't need. Okay. So you just come in here and you start cleaning all this stuff up. Okay, and if, if you're good enough, you know, you can, you can do some shift select or use your advanced selection tools and uh, you can you can get this cleaned up. So I, I don't want to make you guys sit through all that, so I've got a cleaned up file. But anyways, you're going to go up, you're going to get cleaned up so that you only have your vectors, total station vectors between your main control points because those are the vectors that we want in the adjustment. So I went ahead and did that cleanup work and exported a, a file. Now it's a little tricky. It doesn't really work to export a job or a, or a raw file or, or, or something like that. So what, what you got to do, what I found, what you got to do when you get this cleanup done is you actually want to use this experimental format that Trimble has. That's called Trimble Data Exchange Format. So just select your vectors, vectors and es export to that format. It's just an ASCII file format. And then that should import if you're using a, like a TBC version 5 or newer. Okay, so let me show you what this looks like after we get it cleaned up. So we're going to go ahead and open our network project. And you can see when I import when I import that file, 
I get just the, the here's the ASCII file. So so the, these files were already in here. This is my GPS network was already in here. Okay, but then I when I imported this TDEF file, Trimble Data Exchange format, now I've got my total station vectors. Okay, that are running between my primary control points. Okay. So now I can run my network adjustment. Let's just do that real quick. Oh, it's not finding my license. Um, let me pause this because I want you guys to see it. Let me pause it and put my dongle in. All right, guys. Sorry. Let's try this again. <laughs> it's my second break for this video. All right. So we're going to go to adjust our network. And uh, we're going to go ahead and run our adjustment. I'm not worried about those errors. All right. So you can see it passed. Past the chi square test, I've got a good reference factor, and uh, you can see I held my seed point here. And then, if you go in, if we just look at our report, and what I like to do is just come down here to my adjusted grid coordinates, and I just look at this should be our error at the 95% confidence level, and you can see we've got a really tight survey, right? So the the highest number I see here is 700. 700, 700. Uh, so everything else is uh, basically three or four hundredths at the 95% confidence level. So that's uh, that's really good. That looks good. You know, same thing here. This uh, this gives you your axes on your air ellipses at 95% confidence, and we're we're looking pretty good. You know, about four or five hundreds. Okay, and I will I will uh, just point out, I'll just show you guys. Sorry. Uh, that 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 includes uh, these really long baselines to the cores. So if I if I took out those baselines and just held my local GPS vectors, we could we could tighten that up even more. Could probably probably put it in half. But uh, this is a you know it's a rural survey of a pasture. So the fact that I've got plus or minus five or six hundreds at at ninety five percent confidence uh, for the majority of the points is, uh, makes me really happy. Um, now I will note when you uh, and I and I need to test this some more, guys. I haven't done it enough, but I notice when I when I start including these total station vectors uh, in my network that I have to bump up the um, let's see, I'm trying to remember if I had to bump it up or bump it down. Now I can't remember. I did have to to slightly tweak my error settings and my GPS uh, to get the the network to pass the chi square test. So uh, just be aware you could have a network that passes. Uh, you could have a network that passes with just the GPS vectors, and then you add your cleaned up total station vectors, and then your your network will fail the chi square test. So you have to go in and you might have to to tweak your uh, GPS error settings a little bit. I don't know why that is. You, you, I don't, you, you shouldn't have to do that. Um, if you're just adding total station vectors, it, you wouldn't think it would matter, but uh, apparently there's some cross-checking there between the, the GPS data and the total station data that, that makes a difference. So just be aware of that. If, if you add your total station vectors and all of a sudden your T-square test isn't passing, um, you know, you, you, I, I spent 30 minutes or 45 minutes tweaking my toll station uh, error settings and couldn't get my network to pass and then I realized I had to go in and, and tweak my GPS settings to get it to pass. I think I had to lower the error estimates on my GPS vectors so when I added the, t the local toll station vectors um, it actually tightened up the quality of my network so I had to lower the expected amount of error that it was finding um, in, the, in the GPS vectors now I remember that's what it was so don't fully understand that yet I need to play with this technique in the software some more before I feel confident about it but uh, you know I'm learning and I want you guys to have an opportunity to learn with me and definitely hit me up in the comments uh, if you've got stuff to share so I, I wanted to do another video that kind of shows you how you can extract your total station vectors between just your control export them in that TDEF format import them into your GPS network and then run your adjustment and get your results all right guys thanks for watching I appreciate it